Welcome to your favorite news network, the Dusty News Network. You know, where Negro news comes first, and I'm so excited to be your host today. Breaking news. So guys, OnlyFans is a great opportunity for you to make money. Well, maybe not you, because you ugly and don't nobody really want to see you on there thotting it up. But for some people, they got what it takes. Like if I was to become a model on there, I'd probably make a million dollars a month. I just don't want my mom on there seeing that I'm a sex symbol. But there is a lady who is allegedly seven foot tall. She's really like six foot three. And she is killing it on OnlyFans. But there's a secret. The whole family is starting it up on OnlyFans. It's a cheek clapping family on OnlyFans. I know you don't believe me. Let's get into it. All right, guys. So today we're talking about this lady on OnlyFans who people believe is seven foot tall. Her name is Marie Tamara. Tall as you know what, okay? And basically, see, it's not really seven foot tall. She is six foot three. And basically what happened was in 2021, she was basically... Uh, you know, showing some cheeks on the side and her co-worker basically told on her at work and basically she got fired. All right. So once she got fired, she was already on TikTok and she just went on the OnlyFans, started showing uh, a lot of this, you know, like, you know, I don't know, like some adult industry stuff, maybe some booty clapping sounds. So now look at this whole family. Okay. This is her. She's six foot two. Her mom is six foot five. The middle child is six foot nine. The youngest is six foot ten. Now I don't even know because that 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 dude looks like he's like seven foot. They are hell uh tall. All right. But now check this out. The whole family is on OnlyFans booty clapping it up. How do we know it? Because she said it. Thank you, music. My whole family is on OnlyFans. We are the tallest family on that site. My mom, dad, brothers are all on there. We all live on the same property and we do TikToks and work together. Stop the show. I really want to know if she's doing some real work. Like, <laughs> are y'all on there clapping each other up on there? I'm just, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. All right. Now listen to this. The Florida-based content creator claims she can earn an upwards of 627,000 pounds per month. Now, for those of you guys who don't know how much that is in U.S. dollars, that is $799,738.50. That's what the exchange rate of today. Damn, I wish I was that tall. Shit, I wouldn't be talking to y'all. I don't never make that kind of money dealing with in the black sector. Okay, so now she's on there clapping it up on OnlyFans. The whole family is retired. The whole family clapping cheeks. So mama, daddy, sisters, everybody on there getting clapped up on OnlyFans. It's a family business. I just got one question. Do y'all take cash or credit card for the, the tall seven foot chick? Um, I know she, you know, like I said, you know, I'm a pro black, but um, sometimes a brother wants to know what it's like to, uh, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, don't, don't quote me on that. But uh, I might have to go ahead and check that, check her out because she like six foot three. I know she has some big, I know, I know, I know, I know. Let me let me not let here Dr. Umar say that about he he'll get mad. He'll call me a sellout or whatever. I was just joking, Doc. I'm a pro black. I don't want to play with you like that, bro. Next story. So we know that Meg the Stallion was, you know, thotting it up for Kamala Harris at a rally. And when I say thotting it up, I mean exactly that. Thotting it up. Um, it was bad, y'all. It was twerking all over the place. I'm just mad because I wasn't there to see it. Because Meg Thee Stallion is fine to me. And she got cheeks for days. I do not dislike her at all. Um, I just wish she was here right now. Not really in Africa because there's a lot of women out here. But maybe she can appear in my dreams. Where I'm incapacitated. 
have a little bit of opportunities to get them cheeks. But anyways, but the conservatives on Fox News, man, they they really roasted her. Well, this was a Trump rally, um, and the thing that Kamala Harris had earlier this week was a was a, a music uh, concert uh, with uh, Megan Thee Stallion, um, who has 33.5 million monthly listeners on Spotify, and uh, she couldn't fill the arena. This you have 33 and a half million Spotify listeners and can't pack a place. This is, first of all, this is like what the Democrats don't understand. Like Meg the Stallion has a problem selling out concerts. She has a problem, you know, selling music. She has a problem doing a lot of things except twerking. And she always has low album sales. So people listen to it, but they don't, she's not like a Nicki Minaj type of chick or a Cardi B type chick. You know, she's not a Doja Cat. Doja Cat be selling like crazy. And I don't know, man, you know, Meg Thee Stallion, um, she people like following her. But again, you know, some people don't have what it takes to really pull a crowd. And why she got that opportunity, I'm not sure. But maybe y'all donated to the campaign funds to get Meg Thee Stallion to come out there and clap it up. I even think that Glorilla got more fans than her. But again, that's marketability. And I think they're telling the truth when it comes to that. Meg the Stallion, Sexy Red, those ladies who are really talking about nothing. You, you People will listen to it, but they're not trying to really pull up. You know what I'm saying? You got to improve yourself, you know, and the most of them not. You just want to stay dusty with those, those, those trash lyrics. But I'm not going to lie. She do look good, though. Shout out to the North Carolina beat because we're going to fly all the way to North Carolina. And this time, we're not dealing with no Negro stuff. We're dealing with two white people, a brother and a sister, if I'm not mistaken. And boy, what they did is amazing. So y'all, I typically don't do a whole lot of stuff on, on, on the white folks, okay? But shout out to the brother Gerald Jackson over on the NC beat. Go check him out on Facebook. Uh, we have a brother and a sister that have a heated brawl over some damn chicken that didn't have no season on it, okay? So what happened was this young lady who is Hope Harper was mad that her brother Anthony Harper wasn't putting no season on the chicken, okay? And she asked him, why don't you season this chicken so that it can crust up, all right? Now, the, the dude, Anthony, he tells her, angry music, you're not human. You're a dumb dog. Then Anthony went, shoved the table, and just started whooping her ass. Somebody in the family saw the fight. She's scratching him, right? Somebody started firing some gunshots into the air to stop the fight. But they didn't stop. His sister Hope went and grabbed a steak knife and began chasing his ass all around the house. The fight ends when they got some like roach uh, insecticide spray and they start spraying it on each other. <laughs> Wait a minute. So then the fight ends where they basically get some roach insecticide spray and start spraying on each other until the police came. All right. Even the roaches were sitting back watching. So they are going to press charges on each other over this unseasoned chicken in South Carolina. As you heard, they are fighting over seasoned chicken. <laughs> it's actually not North Carolina, it's South Carolina. I mean, that's crazy to think that you're that stupid to fight over <laughs> seasoned chicken. You're gonna fight your sister over some seasoned chicken as a as a grown individual, a white person at that too, as a grown individual, white or it don't really don't matter, but. I mean, I, I love chicken too, but I'm not gonna fight anybody on no damn chicken. I just don't, y'all automatically go into dusty water today. I'm just gonna tell you right now. I usually wait until the end, but I'm gonna give it to you. I promise you I'm gonna give it to you. So guys, we had a great show. We had uh, the OnlyFans model in the whole family who 
They got a whole thought into the business. So the whole family over there getting clapped up. Then there's Meg the Stallion who can't sell no records. And the white folks over at Fox News dealt with her. And then these other Caucasian people, brother and sister, who fought over some fried chicken. And we're not even going to go to the drum roll, please, or nothing today. We're just going to go right to the Dusty War today. The, this is so egregious. Throw that dust on that brother and sister. Look, we ain't even go to Jeffrey Music, none of that shit. Just throw it on them. Just throw it on them while I'm talking. You got to be dumb as hell to do something like that as a freaking adult. But they ought to lock your ass up life in prison for that. Seriously. You shouldn't even get no parole or nothing. Some crime should be so stupid, you need to get life. And this is one of them. I'm like, your parents probably are looking hella stupid right now. Like, how do we have these kids? Um, I don't know if it's a genetic defect in y'all fan. I don't know what's going on, but this is crazy. <laughs> So guys, that's my time. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate you guys for all that you do. Subscribe to the, the channel. Check me out at O'Shea Jackson 2 on Facebook. Facebook.com slash O'Shea Jackson 2. We out.